Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Resonate service. It's a pleasure of mine to certainly be invited back. Um, I was here last month, so that must have meant that that went okay. So I think that we're starting off all right uh, as, as, uh, as it goes. And, um, you know, I always thought that talk is really cheap, and although I'm not free, I'm reasonable, so I won't be talking a lot tonight. I want you to flex your worship muscles through singing a lot, and you'll be hearing some readings as well to kind of spur you on to thought, but I really do think that it's important that we, you know, start out especially uh, through song. Um, the um, Talmud, the rabbis say in the Talmud that when you sing, you pray twice. So uh, it's, it's good to get at least twice of our prayers out of the way for the evening. If you would please stand as we worship together uh, and as we sing, you'll want to make sure to have one of those bulletins in front of you because everything you need to know in all of your life is right in front of you there. As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we've received from you can set them free. As we worship you, let all this joy that fills our hearts bring a hunger and a hope to those who've strayed too far. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverend awe, show your majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation fill each heart we pray. As we worship you, let all the nations hear our song, the song of Jesus and his blood that proves his love for all. As we worship you, May all the lost and broken come. May they hear your still small voice call out their names, each one. As we stand in adoration and stand in reverend awe, show your majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. 
May the power of your salvation fill each heart, we pray. As we worship you, as we worship you, as we worship you, Full, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name. When I'm found, the sun shining down on me. When the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. On the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to pray. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Blessed be your name, you give and take away, you give and take away, my heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You may be seated. the mountains and the sea your river runs with love for me and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth and I will daily lift my hands for I will always sing of when your love came down I can sing of your love forever I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. 
I can sing of your love forever. 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 Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know. But when the world has seen the light, they will dance with joy like we're dancing now. I can sing of your love forever. 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 And please join me by reading the emboldened print as we say the Gloria together. Glory to you who have shown us light. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. We praise you. We bless you. We worship you. We glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. We praise you. We bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us, for you only are holy, only you are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. We praise you, we bless you. We worship you. We glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Each day I shall bless you, and I will praise your name forever and to the ages of ages. Glory, glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to his will to all people. We praise you. We bless you. We worship you. We give you to you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Amen. Panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. desire and I long to 
dwelling place, O Lord Almighty, for my soul longs and even faints for you. Here my heart is satisfied within your presence. I sing beneath the shadow of your wings. Better is one day in your courts, better is one day in your house, better is thousands elsewhere better is one day in your courts better is one day in your house better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere than thousands elsewhere one thing I ask and I would seek to see find you in the place your glory dwells. One thing I ask and I would seek to see your beauty to find you in the place your glory than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your courts. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. My heart and flesh cry out for you, the living God. Your spirit's water to my soul. I've tasted and I've seen, come once again to me, I will draw near to you, I will draw near to you, to you. And when I am 
Blake wrote in his poem, Jerusalem, I rest not from my great task to open the eternal worlds, to open the immortal eyes of man inwards into the worlds of thought, into eternity ever expanding in the bosom of God, the human imagination. Certain words in the course of long use gather so many strange connotations that they almost cease to mean anything at all. Such a word is imagination. This word is made to serve all manner of ideas, some of them directly opposed to one another. Fancy, thought, hallucination, suspicion. Indeed, so wide is its use, and so varied its meanings, the word imagination has no status nor fixed significance. For example, we ask a man to use his imagination, meaning that his present outlook is too restricted and therefore not equal to the task. In the next breath, we tell him that his ideas are pure imagination, thereby implying that his ideas are unsound. We speak of a jealous or suspicious person as a victim of his own imagination, meaning that his thoughts are untrue. A minute later, we pay a man the highest tribute by describing him as a man of imagination. Thus the word imagination has no definite meaning. Even the dictionary gives us no help. 
It defines imagination as one, the picturing power or act of the mind, the constructive or creative principle, two, a phantasm, three, an irrational notion or belief, four, planning, plotting or scheming as involving mental construction. I identify the central figure of the Gospels with human imagination, the power which makes the forgiveness of sins the achievement of our goals inevitable. John writes, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. One thing in the world, imagination, and all our deformations of it. The prophet Isaiah writes, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Imagination is the very gateway of reality. Man, said Blake, is either the ark of God or a phantom of the earth and of the water. Naturally, he is only a natural organ subject to sense. The eternal body of man is the imagination. That is God himself, the divine body. Jesus, we are his members. I know of no greater and truer definition of the imagination than that of Blake. By imagination, we have the power to be anything we desire to be. Through imagination, we disarm and transform the violence of the world. Our most intimate as well as our most casual relationships become imaginative as we awaken to the mystery hid from the ages, that Christ in us is our imagination. We then realize that only as we live by imagination can we truly be said to live at all. I want this book to be the simplest, clearest, frankest work that I have ever had the power to make, that I may encourage you to function imaginatively, that you may open your immortal eyes inwards into the worlds of thought, where you behold every desire of your heart as ripe grain, white already to harvest. John writes, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The abundant life that Christ promised us is ours to experience now, but not until we have the sense of Christ as our imagination can we experience it. The mystery hid from the ages, Christ in you, the hope of glory, is your imagination. This is the mystery which I am ever striving to realize more keenly myself and to urge upon others. Imagination is our Redeemer, the Lord from heaven, born of man, but not begotten of man. Every man is Mary, and birth to Christ must give. If the story of the Immaculate Conception and birth of Christ appears irrational to man, it is only because it is misread as biography, history, and cosmology, and the modern explorers of the imagination do not help by calling it the unconscious or subconscious mind. Imagination's birth and growth is the gradual transition from a God of tradition to a God of experience. If the birth of Christ in man seems slow, it is only because man is unwilling to let go the comfortable but false anchorage of tradition. When imagination is discovered as the first principle of, of religion, the stone of literal understanding will have felt the rod of Moses and, like the rock of Zion, issue forth the water of psychological meaning to quench the thirst of humanity, and all who take the proffered cup and live a life according to this truth will transform the water of psychological meaning into the wine of forgiveness. Then, like the good Samaritan, they will pour it on the wounds of all. As we awaken to the imaginative life, we discover that to imagine a thing is to make it so, that a true judgment need not conform to the external reality to which it relates. The imaginative man does not deny the reality of the sensuous outer world of becoming, but he knows that it is the inner world of continuous imagination that is the force by which the sensuous outer world of becoming is brought to pass. He sees the outer world and all its happenings as projections of the inner world of imagination. To him, everything is a manifestation of the mental activity which goes on in a man's imagination, without the sensuous, reasonable man being made aware of it. But he realizes 
that every man must become conscious of this inner activity and see the relationship between the inner causal world of imagination and the sensuous outer world of effects. It is a marvelous thing to find that you can imagine yourself into the state of your fulfilled desire and escape from the jails which ignorance built. The real man is a magnificent imagination. It is this self that must be awakened. The Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of your imagination. We'll see, we'll defy explanation. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it, want to change the world, there's nothing to it. I know to compare with your imagination living there you'll be free if you truly wish to be I find that your strength knows no bounds, and in my loneliness I find that the everlasting arms surround Even with this fragile heart, I find a place to rest here, safe where you are. And I am falling into grace again, and I am running where mercy never ends. I'm learning that your love can cover me. You are teaching me what a child is meant to be. Mercy never ends, Lord, 
I'm learning that your love can cover me. You are teaching me what a child is meant to be. Savior, I know for sure all of my days are held in your hand, grafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, dear Lord, to live all my life through eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling. Set me apart. I know you're drawing me to yourself. Lead me, Lord, I pray. Gently call me into your presence, guiding me by your Holy Spirit. Teach me, dear Lord, to live all my life through your eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling. Set me apart. I know you're drawing me to yourself. Lead me, Lord, I pray. potter's hand. Call me, guide me, lead me, walk beside me. I give my life to the potter's hand. Take me, mold me, I give my life to the potter's hand. Father is rich in houses and lands. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hands. Of rubies and diamonds, of silver and gold, his coffers are full. He 
has riches untold. I'm a child of the King, a child of the King. With Jesus my Savior, I'm a child of the King. My Father's own Son, the Savior of men, once wandered on earth as the poorest of them. But now he is pleading our pardon on high that we may be his when he comes by and by. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king with Jesus. Jesus, my Savior, I'm a child of the King. I once was an outcast stranger on earth, a sinner by choice and an alien by birth. But I've been adopted, my name's written there to a mansion, a robe, and a crown. I'm a child of the King, a child of the King. With Jesus my Savior, I'm a child of the King. And a woman who held a babe against her bosom said, Speak to us of children. And he said, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. For they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you, for life goes not backward, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might that his arrows may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness, for even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all I can only imagine? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. When that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun, I can only imagine when all I will do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine surrounded by 
What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all I can only imagine? I can only imagine. will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all I can only Thank you. 
on the day I die, when I'm being carried toward the grave, don't weep. Don't say he's gone. He's gone. Death has nothing to do with going away. The sun sets and the moon sets, but they're not gone. Death is a coming together. The tomb looks like a prison, but it's really release into union. The human seed goes down the ground like a bucket into the well where Joseph is. It grows and comes up full of some unimagined beauty. Your mouth closes here and immediately opens with a shout of joy there. You know, Rumi's poem there reminds me of the great Woody Allen line, I'm not afraid of dying, but I don't want to be there when it happens. So, uh... <laughs> I hope that you have been blessed tonight through singing and a, taking a short break through a busy and probably intense week that many of you have. Uh, as we conclude, I would invite you to stand once more as we sing, Lord be glorified, and we bless each other through our own benedictions. heaven's illumination and very own imagination. What you sow, you reap. Be blessed and go in the silence this evening.